Hmm, this one's big. Ooh, that one's pretty. Uh, no, maybe not. I'll take that one. No. Uh, that one. With this stick, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna make a slightly smaller stick. Nope, the edges are too sharp. Shave, 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 shave it, sand it, sand it, sand it, oil. Ooh, pretty. Okay, enough of the nonsense. At this point, I'm taking this mulberry chunk and I'm cutting it to about the right size. I'm gonna try to dome the top a little bit, but that doesn't work, so I need to put a flat on one of the sides so I can clamp it. And I end up doing all four sides. Turn four into eight, and then now I start to bevel the top of it. With everything domed about right, I can go to the top and work on the face of that. I don't want it flat, I want it kind of domed so that when I hit something, it doesn't leave a mark. There's kind of the final rough in shape of what the hammer part is gonna be like. Now I'm drilling a hole through it. This is slightly smaller than the hammer handle that I made. So I'm doing that and then I can pound it in, carve away at it, pound it in, carve away at it, and then eventually I can get a good fit. I've got this head fit on the handle. Now I've got a marked out so this is centered that way and that way. I'm gonna cut a groove there, I'm gonna cut a groove there. I decided the look wasn't quite right. It needed to taper in more towards the face of the, the hammerhead. So I did that with a chisel, which was way quicker than doing it with a plane. And then I put this piece of plum and cut some wedges and sanded it off screen. My favorite part about this project is that all this different wood came from trimming my trees this fall. So I had three different kinds of wood and it was all just from cutting trees. So that just feels a little better than buying it for a premium price and turning it into something that I'm just gonna beat up anyways. And I think it turned out all right. In hindsight, I should have let the wood dry a little longer because it actually, you can see the splits right there. But uh, you know, I'm just gonna beat it up anyways. It's just a hammer. Here's some boiled linseed oil and some final shots. My next video, I'm very likely going to be trash talking lake vices that a lot of these popular woodworkers are using because I believe I found a better solution. That's assuming I can finish it before I post next week's video. Thanks for watching. Focus. Got the handle fit. <laughs>